Hi, welcome to this ultimate video guide on how to build an IT resource management or asset management application with Caspio Secure, and easy to use online database platform. My name is Ned and in part 5 of this video guide, I will show you how to deploy parts of our application to a website. Let's take a look. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy all of the admin data pages. But the process is very much the same for all the other folders, so even if you want to deploy manager level data pages, employee, admin, and manager, the process is exactly the same. So let's expand our admin folder. If you recall from the earlier video, we already learned how to deploy the add new data page. So if I go to my website, you'll see how we already have this data page deployed. If I open up my HTML document, here's my page add new, and here's the Caspio deploy code. Now let's go ahead and deploy all the ones for the dashboard web page. So let's go back to Caspio. One thing that I recommend that you do is select all of your data pages. You'll notice how all the data pages are disabled except for add new. So to save yourself on time, go ahead and select all of your data pages, click on bulk action, click on deploy, and enable deployment status. If you don't select all of your data pages and enable deployment status, then you're going to have to deploy each data page one at a time. So this saves you a few minutes. Once you hit close, You'll now see how all the data pages have been enabled. And let's find the ones for the dashboard web page. The first one is the pivot report. I'm going to click on deploy, grab my embed code, go into my HTML document. And now let's scroll down until we find that placeholder. So here's the first one, pivot table. Just going to paste my code. And let's deploy our three charts. Actually, it's four charts. So let's go back to Caspio. So let's embed the one with the device type first. Grab the embed code, copy it back to our web page, and replace this placeholder. Back inside Caspia and repeat the steps. Let's take the inventory by status, copy the code. That's going to be chart two. Let's go to chart three and chart four, back to Caspio. Items by location, copy and paste, and you can see how quickly we can embed all of these interfaces into our website by simply copying and pasting. And the very last one is total spend by location, so let's grab that deploy code as well, and find that placeholder. So on this page, you can see we have about five data pages deployed on a single web page. So now when I go back to my website, and we refresh the dashboard page, you will see the location and you will also see all the charts filter data based on our configuration. Now obviously this application doesn't have very much data because our inventory table only has one entry, but imagine if you had multiple entries then you will be able to see charts populating more data and you will be able to see different location along with different statuses. Next let's go to inventory and deploy the all search data page. So let's go back to Caspio. That is a quick inventory search, so I'm going to hit deploy, copy my code, find that web page called all, and find my placeholder. So just scroll down a little bit, paste the Caspio code, save, and let's take a look and see what that looks like on our website. And as you can see, now we have this nice ability to search and be able to pull up records underneath the search form. Now let's deploy our advanced search, so back inside Caspio. Advanced inventory search. We're almost done. This process only takes a few minutes. So here's my search web page. Once again, I'm going to scroll down. You may not have to do that much scrolling depending on how much content you have on your web page. Let's refresh, and we should now have the ability to search and view the results. Now let's go ahead and deploy the details data page. I actually made the model column be clickable, so when I click on this 7, which stands for iPhone 7, it's going to take me to a details page. If I click on it now, you'll see it's how it's an empty page. So let's go back to Caspio and grab the item details data page. Copy. And under details, we're going to find that placeholder once again. Paste our data page. Let's also deploy an additional data page here, which is the item history log. But this data page is located inside this folder that contains that data page. So let's find it, click on deploy, copy the code, 
and paste that directly underneath the details page. Now save and let's refresh. And now you get to see the details view of that item and we can also see the history of what's happened to that item over time. The next data page we're going to deploy is manage devices. So let's go back to Caspio. And this data page is also located in the shared folder. So let's go ahead and deploy that. So manage devices. Let's scroll down a little bit. Paste. And I keep refreshing the website. Normally when I deploy these data pages, I would embed them all, all at once. And then I will go to my website to see it. But I want you to see as I deploy each data page so that you can see what that looks like on the web once everything is deployed and embedded. Then we want this data page assigned to me. So once again, back to Caspio. And this data page is actually located inside the employee folder because everyone has the ability to see assigned to me items. So we're going to hit deploy, copy the code. And once again, we're going to find that web page, scroll down, and paste. Let's take a look. It should say no records found because the admin doesn't have any items assigned to them. And we have four more data pages left. So let's go to users and deploy our add new employee form. So back to data pages, add new employee, which only an admin level user can see. So new employee, scroll down, paste. And let's take a look. Refresh. And here's my form. Three more data pages left. Let's go to Manage Users. Find that data page. Copy our code. And for the last three, we're going to just simply go ahead and deploy all the data pages without actually going back and forth between the website. You now get the idea on how this is done. So let's scroll down. Paste. Let's go back to Caspio. My profile data page is located inside the employee folder because everyone is going to be able to view their profile. So here's the profile web page. And last but not least, we have the change password also located inside the employee folder because all the users are going to have the ability to update their password. So I'll copy and open up that very last web page for the admin side. Paste, save, and let's go to our website. And now all the web pages should be updated. So here's my profile. I'm logged in as Ken. Here's my ability to change my password. We have the ability to manage all users. We can add a new user. We have our dashboard page that shows all of our data. And we can also manage all the inventory. Once you have all the functionality created, from here it's very easy to just change the aesthetics, the look and feel of your application. This part may take a few more minutes depending on how meticulous you are and how, in terms of details and how visually appealing you want your application to be, you may spend a few more minutes modifying and fine tuning your application. But this is how easy it is to deploy the app. From here on out, what you need to do is deploy the rest of your data pages into our container and you should have this entire application deployed to your website. Thank you for watching the final video. I hope that you enjoyed the entire Ultimate Video Guide. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to use the comments section underneath. If you have any technical questions, you can also contact our support team and someone will be able to assist you. Thank you so much and good luck building your own applications.